Hi, Jim Van Zandt, one of the pastors here, Carlisle United Methodist Church, Sermon in Three Minutes. Thanks for tuning in. Last week was a holiday weekend, 4th of July. So as our text in the Sunday service, we used the 15th chapter of John and particularly Jesus' words in the 13th verse about uh, how uh, um, greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. And then we remembered the patriots of this country, some great patriots in the Revolutionary War that uh, set up the country that you and I enjoy today and the freedoms that we enjoy. And it's right and good that we remember their lives and their contributions and their sacrifice, the blood of martyrs upon which we stand. Abraham Lincoln called upon the memory of that some 85 years after that event uh, in the Gettysburg Address. And as well, he remembered it, so we should remember it and remember to live lives worthy of their sacrifice as citizens of these United States. You know, Jesus showed he called us his friends, and he was our friend, and we know he laid down his life for us on the cross. But his blood did something different that the blood of martyrs and patriots could not do. His blood cleansed us from our sin, washed us white as snow, restored a relationship with God our Father in heaven, so that we can live in communion not only with God, but with one another in a different and new kind of relationship. Who knows how many people died for the cause of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't know if you've ever read John Fox's Book of Martyrs, but it tells the story of what happened to all the disciples, all the disciples kind of after the Bible, after the Book of Acts. And every one of them has martyred in some kind of way and suffered for their faith. And certainly we've heard the legendary stories of what happened to Christians under the Emperor Nero. Sometimes I'm humbled by that kind of sacrifice and early Christian patriotism and wonder if I'm living a life that is worthy of their sacrifice. It's something for you and I to think about in our walk of discipleship. Maybe this week, just give a thought to the fact, uh, to thought and look at, at your walk of discipleship and see if it might measure up to the sacrifice of so many others because there are those who will come after us who will be relying upon our sacrifice. Have a great week. Thanks for tuning in. Sermon in three minutes.